All right, welcome everyone to a new YouTube video. I thought it was about time to make a new one because I haven't shot a new video in about three weeks. So um, what I want to talk about today is the best way to go about organic marketing in 2022 and I also feel for years to come if you're an online coach or consultant and how things have evolved and how things are very different from the year of 2021 because last year, if you had like a little bit of an organic following on IG or Facebook and you do a post, it'd be very easy to like, you know, get people to respond, get them on a the phone call with you and then like, you know have to become your client nowadays it still works but not as well and so like it requires innovation and change that's what i'm going to be talking about today but we really did last year that worked well but most importantly what's working really well today and how you can do this too so let's get started so when it comes down to like organic marketing what i define it as it's simply like talking to people because everyone's got a different definition of this over your facebook profile or your instagram profile and then you know uh having them see your content your stories and all that stuff right that that's what i consider organic marketing now if you're a complete beginner i would say that just being in facebook groups doing your profile stuff and having conversations is the best way to go about it now if you're someone that's a little bit more advanced right and has some cash flow that they can spend i'm going to tell you right now what we're doing that's working really well but before i do that like last year real briefly right like we would do two week promo cycles and post on our feed and we get like a lot of engagement and would that work really well and still works but not if you don't have lead flow and attention because that's been one of the biggest problems of all coaches nowadays and so i found a way that you're able to interconnect attention and lead flow to organic marketing so you can book meetings and i'm going to explain exactly how we're doing that so the way we're doing it at the moment right so we've got uh, a facebook group and the way it's flowing is this so we've got facebook and ig ads and we're sending people to a group and then um, we ask three very specific questions to people when they join the group and then we strategically like let's say 10 people join and 10 of them fill it out all three questions we answer we book three is what the data has shown and so it's facebook ads plus organic that's you know with an appointment setter it's basically turning into three booked meetings predictably and we're paying about like six to seven bucks per lead so basically if you do the math it's about like you know 20 bucks per call and it's an asset you're going to so on the marketing front you're getting a group member you're getting a new email and then you're booking three appointments out of 10 people to join a fill out the group questions with an appointment center so like it's a very automated way of doing it and so that is in my opinion one of the best ways i'll share a couple more to really crush it with organic marketing in 2022 because one of the biggest again problems that people have is like just lead flow attention and we're running three different campaigns right so we've got facebook ads we've got facebook organic we've got appointment setters and that's basically the system that we have so when it comes down to facebook ads so what we're doing is three things so we're doing a low ticket offer so an add to lto facebook and ig ads um and then second we're doing facebook ig ads to free group and then we're also doing Facebook IG ads to book a call. And I'll give you the metrics of July, what we hit each, uh, last month, right? So we, we spent about 6K and we returned $147,000, right? For our online coaching business, which is insane. And so with the book a call campaign, we spent 1.6 and we booked uh, 59 calls. Very, very cheap. And then we also did add to LTO, we spent like 2.5 and then like add to group 2.3 or something like that. So we spent like all in all like about 6K. Um, and this month in August, we're trying to ramp it up. Now, you can see that these are not like separate ad campaigns, right? Like you've got a VSL here and then like you're doing organic plus setting here. No, it's interconnected. So the Facebook ads to the group, like the ad interconnects with organic. So the setter has inbound lead flow so they can like you know get easy meetings and it helps them a lot so on the marketing forefront you get a group member an email and on the organic side you get more people to like watch your content but most importantly for your setters people that they can have conversations with and we get about like 15 to 20 people join our group every single day so that's one two it's basically our facebook ads to low ticket offer so we're running facebook ig ads to low ticket offer and essentially the way it works is um yeah, so we, uh, you know, Facebook IG ads, low ticket offer, and then they join our paid Facebook group, which is called the Organic Marketing Accelerator. 
and we reach out to them in a way where again like for 10 purchases and three people will like fill out the question we book three very very qualified meetings right because they purchase an lto um so again ads to organic setter all interconnected not like loose systems that are like all separate right um and then we book a call it's basically just retargeting ads that we're running and so all in all this is the system that we're running in 2022 that's working insanely well right um but the beautiful thing is that i am now like even if we're not like just now we just discussed marketing and sales like, i'm not leading these things i've got my media buyer who's running my ads i've got my setter manager who is um managing the setters i've got my copywriter who's writing my facebook posts i've got my closer manager who's like leading the closers and then all in all i'm creating alignment between my leaders so this system that i've created for them is working really well so like i'm the one paying the ad spend i'm the one coming up with the assets i'm kind of the fodder they can always come to if they need it and so this is what i consider quote unquote the best organic marketing strategy because partially it's organic partially it's not and i don't really care i just feel like this is a cool title to have so you know it's how to run with it but um yeah so that's what we're doing guys it's worked really really well we're already on 150k cash collecting for the month with 11 days into the month and it's just looking more positive with the day because of like how well this thing is compounding but most importantly how simple it is and how it is interconnected so yeah that's the majority of organic marketing and uh like really what we're doing on the forefront so that's what we're doing um i would say when it comes out to the actual organic part itself i've now got a copywriter that's like writing my post in my group um and it's been game changing guys and you know again like my content is more for like people that of course are beginners but also for like people who are more advanced and like to you know like know the logistics and the the transparency behind like how an organization is set up and the numbers and so for me like sharing those type of things uh the reason why i'm doing this like just so you know it's possible to like actually remove yourself from the day-to-day -day operations work on the business create leaders and uh build a multiple seven figure organization right so i know i've like talked all over this place uh, all over the place in this video <laughs> but it's just because there's a lot of moving pieces from marketing to um you know setting to closing and then if you go into the detail of it i just gave you exactly on how to do this so with that being said facebook ig ads are not that organic is not that as long as you know how to innovate and like actually have these two work together in synergy so you don't have to rely on free groups right because if you're doing 20, 30, 50, 100K per month, or you've got like an asset, like an email list, Instagram, you shouldn't be doing free groups. If you're a beginner, you should do free groups because you don't have that cash flow yet. And you need to build that up before you can like get team members um, and, uh, you know, spend cash on other things like ads, right? And you need to get your revenue up too, because otherwise good people, A players are not going to be willing to work for you because they want good opportunities and good leaders who've already walked a little bit of the path themselves. So that's all for today. The best for getting marketing strategy in 2022. If you guys have any specific questions, just let me know. I'm also, by the way, a lot more active on Facebook. I post every single day. I'm a lot more active on Instagram. I post on my stories every single day. So if you want to follow me or just actually want to chat with me, you can go to those platforms. I'll put the link in the description. And then with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And then I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.